All right, uh, the um, U.S. pre-market movers and levels. Okay, well, quite an astonishing uh, uh, move in our first uh, <laughs> our first company, uh, Dot Hill Systems Corporation. That's ticker Hill H I W L in the U.S. Nine dollars sixty-nine pre-market, um, up eighty-seven point zero seven percent. Why? Quite simply, this manufacturer of data storage solutions, typically for servers and data centers, has received a bid from the much larger rival Seagate, ticker STX in the US. Seagate's more for, familiar, well, more familiar to people, I think, probably for the portable hard drives. Yep, that, I have uh, one of those. That they uh, produce and, and that many of us own. There's say. obviously good money in that. Yes, uh, I think, but I think there's obviously uh, good money as well in solid state uh, data storage yep. systems as well, and that's what uh, Seagate are aiming for. And then staying in the world of uh, technology, Analog Devices Inc., that's ticker ADI, in the US, one that we've mentioned here on a number of occasions, trading around $62.01 uh, pre-market this morning, up 7.1%, uh, uh, um, and basically good numbers from these guys. They beat estimates and they guided higher for the coming quarter, uh, and that was unlike some of their peers such as Texas Instruments and Linear, which had previously offered uh, weaker guidance. Uh, so one to keep an eye on today, I would suggest. And then in uh, in uh, terms of uh, equity market levels, obviously things are a bit weaker here in London, as we said earlier before we came on, on, on air, almost a delayed reaction to yesterday's sharp move yeah. lower in China. Uh, so for the FTSE, we're now looking at 64.31 on the downside, play 65.23 to the upside. For the DAX, which does look a bit sickly again, it must be said, 10,730 now is our downside level, plays 10,799 to the upside. Um, in the US, 2090 plays 2105 of the S&P. So, we so a bigger, bigger divergence between the US and the European yes, side now. Yes, yeah, absolutely. All the money is going, well, if there is any money, it's going towards uh, the US. Yes, that seems to be the way things. We just adjusted really our, our levels around, the, around last night's <coughs> ranges here. And in the Dow, 17,470 to the downside, plays 17,570 to the upside. A nice 100 point range to, to, to pitch at there. Currency wise, again, surprisingly static given what, what's going on in the world. Um, slightly easier uh, for euro US dollar. So 110.16 now at downside level, plays 110.71 to the upside. Uh, Aussie dollar, US dollar, 73.30 on the downside now, plays 73.65 on the upside. So that range is again tightened slightly from yesterday. Um, similar story in dollar yen, no great movements, but we were able to just tighten the ranges to 124.20 on the downside, plays 124.50 on the upside. And in cable, um, it hasn't managed to recover the 157 level it broke through yesterday. So for the minute, we're 156.51 on the downside. Plays 157.10 if we're to make a bigger upside move against the. But his cable is sort of is moving or has. Yeah, been. I mean, so it, it's, yeah, it's, it's better, still better it's, of the bunch, the best of the bunch. Yes, it is. It's doing something. You're quite correct. Yeah.